Transoxiana, also spelled Transoxania, known in Arabic sources as Mawar and Nar Arabic, Ma Ray Al Nawar Arabic pronunciation, Ma Wa Ra and Nar. What is beyond the Oxus River? And in Persian as Fararid Persian, Frared Persian pronunciation, F Ash U D. Beyond the Amudarya River is the ancient name used for the portion of Central Asia corresponding approximately with modern-day Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, southern Kyrgyzstan, and southwest Kazakhstan. Geographically, it is the region between the Amu Darya ancient Greek, Oxos Oxos, and Syr Darya rivers. The area had been known to the Iranians as Turin, a term used in the Persian national epic Shahnameh, to the Romans as Transoxania land beyond the Oxus, and to the Arabs as Mawar and Nar land beyond the river. The region was one of the satrapies provinces of the Achaemenid dynasty of Persia under the name Sogdiana. It was defined in classical antiquity to distinguish it from Iran proper, especially its northeastern province of Khorasan—a term originating with the Sasanians—although Arab historians and geographers tended to subsume the region within the loosely defined term, Khorasan, designating a much larger territory. History. Topic. The name Transoxiana stuck in Western consciousness because of the exploits of Alexander the Great, who extended Greek culture into the region with his invasion in the 4th century BC. Transoxiana was the most northeastern point of the Hellenistic culture until the Arab invasion. During the Sassanid Empire, it was often called Sogdiana, a provincial name taken from the Achaemenid Empire, and used to distinguish it from nearby Bactria. The Chinese explorer Zhang Qian, who visited the neighboring countries of Bactria and Parthia along with Transoxiana in 126 BC, made the first known Chinese report on this region. Zhang Qian clearly identifies Parthia as an advanced urban civilization that farmed grain and grapes, made silver coins and leather goods. It was ruled successively by Seleucids, the Greco-Bactrian Kingdom, the Parthian Empire and the Kushan Empire before Sassanid rule. In Sassanid times, the region became a major cultural center due to the wealth derived from the northern Silk Road. Sassanid rule was interrupted by the Hephthalite invasion at the end of the 5th century and Didn.T returned to the Sassanids until 565. Many Persian nobles and landlords escaped to this region after the Muslim invasion. Before the Muslim invasion it was also ruled by Gokturks. After that it was ruled by Tang China until the Arab conquest between 705 and 715, the area became known as Mawar al-Nar Arabic. What is beyond the river, sometimes rendered as Mavaranar. Transoxiana's major cities and cultural centers are Samarkand and Bukhara. Both are in the southern portion of Transoxiana though still to the north of the Amu Darya itself, on the river Zaravshan, and the majority of the region was dry but fertile plains. Both cities remained centers of Persian culture and civilization after the Islamic conquest of Iran, and played a crucial role in the revival of Persian culture with establishment of the Samanid dynasty. Part of this region was conquered by Qutaybah ibn Muslim between 706 and 715 and loosely held by the Umayyads from 715 to 738. The conquest was consolidated by Nasser ibn Sayyar between 738 and 740, and continued under the control of the Umayyads until 750, when it was replaced by the Abbasids. The Tang dynasty also controlled the eastern part of the region until about the same time, when a civil war known as the Anlutian Rebellion occurred. Genghis Khan, founder of the Mongol Empire, invaded Transoxiana in 1219 during his conquest of Khwarezm. Before his death in 1227, he assigned the lands of western Central Asia to his second son Chagatai, and this region became known as the Chagatai Khanate. In 1369, Timur, of the Barlas tribe, became the effective ruler and made Samarkand the capital of his future empire. Transoxiana was known to be flourishing in the mid-14th century. See also Greater Khorasan Khwarezm Turin Hizar i Shadman References 